Good morning and welcome to this CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Dana Huey. A roller coaster at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas in San Antonio has been closed. This comes as a precaution after a woman died last week on a similar ride at the Six Flags in Arlington. No injuries have been reported on the Iron Rattler, but it will remain closed while the death at Six Flags over Texas is under investigation. A 52-year-old woman was ejected from her seat last week, falling about 75 feet. A Louisiana man is in custody for a deadly shooting in Longview earlier this month. 27-year-old Paul Mangle Jr. is charged in the shooting death of Joe Espy on July 7th. He and a woman were shot in front of a home on Bonner Street. Longview police say drugs may have led to the shooting. Important news for parents. Kids 2 is recalling more than 400,000 Baby Einstein musical motion activity jumpers in both the U.S. and Canada. The Sun toy attachment can, on the jumper can rebound and injure a baby. There have been reports of more than 60 injuries, including bruises, cuts, and one skull fracture. Consumers should immediately stop using the jumper and contact Kids 2 for a replacement toy attachment. Well, it's your chance to help local students get ready for the school year. For the first time ever, TISD is partnering with Brookshire's and local PTA groups for a Stuff the Bus program. The school supplies drive will happen August 2nd and will benefit families across the Tyler area. Many times if you have more than one student, it can be very costly for parents. And so for those parents that have several students in elementary schools, this will take a burden off of them and help lower the cost for them to get their kids back in school. Event organizers need volunteers as well. If you can spare some time on August 2nd, call TISD Administration Office. Yeah, it's just around the corner for sure. Got some rain out there in parts of East Texas this morning. Yeah, let's go ahead and check in with Scott Fossey. Clinton, Danny, your forecast today on this midweek Wednesday. The scattered showers and storms that originated late last night over sections of Oklahoma, Arkansas, parts of Kansas dropping south into the area this morning. Most of this will fall apart between about 9 and 11 this morning, leaving us with some variably cloudy skies, some pockets of clouds and sunshine today. 87 by lunchtime today. There is a possibility of some redevelopment along and south of I-20 this afternoon with daytime heating of spotty showers and thunderstorms. Highs today rounding out between between about 92 and 94, you see all the activity pushing east as we head into the overnight hours with morning lows tomorrow morning dropping off into the mid-70s. Highs tomorrow, it'll be hot, dry, 98, we'll be at 97 on Friday. Reintroduce a slight chance for rain in here late Friday into Saturday, especially as a cool front sags south across east Texas. Widely scattered showers and storms Saturday, a 30% chance and cooler, high of 91. Slight chance for lingering showers across deep east Texas Sunday, highs also lower 90s. For the very latest all day long, check out our website, cbs19.tv or tylerpaper.com. Then tune in later today for CBS 19 News at 5, 6, and 10 at 10. Have a great day.